to study number seven in our Search the Scriptures study. We are in the Gospel of Mark, and today we're just going to answer a couple questions that review uh, the first three chapters of this Gospel. These are the two questions. Number one, what strikes you most about Jesus in Mark's picture of him at the beginning of his ministry? And of what truths was Jesus most concerned to make people aware of? In other words, what is the essence of the gospel of God that he preached? And secondly, what different kinds of reaction and result did the activity of Jesus provoke? And to which class of people was Jesus prepared to give the most? And what must I be prepared to do to belong to this class? And what can I then expect him to give me? Let's go back to that first question. What strikes you most about Jesus and Mark's picture of him at the beginning of his ministry? What truths was Jesus most concerned to make people aware of? In other words, what's the essence of the gospel of God that he preached? Well, thus far in the gospel of Mark, Mark demonstrates the power of God. Jesus is no wimp in Mark. There are several power encounters in this gospel. The gospel opens up with the confrontation with uh, a confrontation both with human power and with demonic power. Jesus never backed down, and when given the opportunity to push people's buttons uh, and drive them from their comfort zones, uh, he most certainly did that. Mark clearly presents to us a Jesus that came to send Satan packing. Second question, what different kinds of reaction and result did the activity of Jesus provoke? And to which class of people was Jesus prepared to give most? And what must I be prepared to do to belong to this class? And what can I then expect him to give me? Well, if you thought you were somebody, I mean, if you really thought you were somebody, Jesus quick, quickly let you know that you weren't. Uh, on the other hand, he took those that had been marginalized and he brought them literally to the center stage of history and scripture uh, and time and, and time again he set them free and then offered them up as a testimony of the power of God. The demoniac was an example of that. The woman with the issue of blood was an example of that. Mark presents a Jesus uh, that was interested in reaching out to those that the world had left behind and, and in so doing he shows us that the way to receive the benefits of the kingdom is to distance ourselves from the power structures of this world. Uh, I hope this, these first three chapters in the Gospel of Mark have been a blessing to you. I hope that uh, they help you to realize that you are, if you're a Christian, you are serving a God of power. Uh, Jesus Christ is not a wimp. He, every encounter he ever had with the enemy, he won. And whatever encounter that you're having with the enemy right now, if you just rely on Jesus and don't grow weary in well-doing, at the proper time, the Word of God says, you will reap a harvest if you don't give up. I hope you're enjoying this time in Mark. I hope you are uh, having a fantastic day today. God bless you the rest of the day. Mm -hmm.